In this lecture, we study binary search. It is for finding an element in a sorted array. We have an array with n elements. The elements are in ascending order. In this example, there are 10 integers. The red number in the bottom right corner are the indices. We count from 0. The inputs of the program are a sorted array and a key. The goal is to find the key in the array. If found, return its index. If not found, return negative 1. Here I give some examples. The first example is to search for the element 53. The program should return the index 8. The second example is to search for the element 9. The array does not contain 9, so the program should return negative 1, which indicates not found. I use this example to demonstrate binary search. The key is 26. The program is asked to find 26 in the array and return its index. Two pointers, left and right, respectively point to the front and the back. Now, the left is 0 and the right is 9. The variable mid is the average of the left and the right positions. Mid points to the middle. The average of 0 and 9 is 4. So mid is equal to 4. It points to the fourth element of the array. The fourth element is 17. Let's compare 17 and the key. The key is 26. The key is greater than 17. So the key 26 should be on the right side of mid. We will search for the key in the right half. Let the left pointer point to the position of mid plus 1. Now, the left pointer is 5. We know the key is somewhere between the left pointer and the right pointer. Let's recompute mid. Take the average of the left pointer and the right pointer. The average of 5 and 9 is 7. So let the mid pointer be 7. Mid is pointing to the 7th element, 51. Let's compare 51 and the key. The key is 26. The key is smaller than 51. So the key is on the left side of mid. We will search between the left pointer and the mid pointer. Move the right pointer to mid minus 1. Now, the right pointer is 6. We know the key is somewhere between the left and the right pointers. Let mid be the average of the left and the right pointers. The left is 5, and the right is 6. The average of 5 and 6 is 5. So mid is 5. It is pointing to the fifth element, 26. The element pointed by mid is equal to the key, 26. We found the key. The program returns mid, that is, the index 5. It is the index of the key. Let's analyze the time complexity. Each iteration reduces the size of the array by half. Let n be the size of the array. The total number of iterations is at most log to the base 2 of n. So the overall time complexity of binary search is big O log n. This is the implementation of binary search. We want to search for the key in the array. 
More specifically, the segment of the array between the positions left and right. The search function performs the while loop. Each iteration reduces the size of the array by half. In each iteration, the left pointer and the right pointer are compared. We need to make sure the left pointer is always on the left side. If the left pointer go to the right side, then stop the while loop. Let's see what's going on inside the while loop. Compute the average of the left and the right pointers. Assign the average to the pointer mid. Let's compare the key with the element pointed by mid. If they are equal, which means we have found the key, then return mid. The program stops. If the key is greater than the element pointed by mid, then the key should be on the right side of mid. We will search the right half. Let the left pointer be mid plus 1. If the key is smaller than the element pointed by mid, then we search the left half. Let the right pointer be mid minus 1. If the while loop does not find the key, then we know the key is not in the array. The program returns negative 1, which means not found. We have discussed how to perform binary search in a sorted array. Think of another question. How to support both search and insertion? Obviously, array does not allow insertion. The size of an array cannot be increased. Let's discuss whether vector and linked list support both operations. We have learned vector and list in the previous lecture. Vector is almost the same as array, except that the size of vector can grow. To make search efficient, the insertion must not destroy the ascending order of the elements. The new element should be inserted into the place which it belongs to. Otherwise, if the ascending order is destroyed, binary search will not work. Then we have to perform exhaustive search from the left to the right, which costs O and time. To maintain the ascending order, an insertion takes O and time on average. Here I briefly explain why the time complexity of insertion is O n. We want to insert the new element 8 into the vector. This is the position where 8 should be placed. The ascending order of the vector will be preserved. We need to make a room for the new element. We move those elements one step right to create a vacant cell. On average, half of the elements are moved. So the average time complexity is ON. The insertion is therefore slow. Can we use linked list to support both efficient search and efficient insertion? Unfortunately, list cannot either. Linked list does not support binary search because it does not allow random access. To perform binary search, we need to access the middle using constant time. Unfortunately, using list, we cannot access the middle efficiently. We have to use an iterator that moves from the left to the middle step by step. This would take O n time. That's why this does not support efficient search. Here I compare vector and list. Vector supports efficient search. The binary search has only log n time complexity. However, it is slow to perform insertion. Insertion costs O n time. Linked list does not support binary search because it does not support random access. 
The exhaustive search has own time complexity. It is slow. The strength of list is fast insertion. The insertion has only constant time complexity. In the next lecture, we will study skip list. It supports both efficient search and efficient insertion. The two operations have log n time complexity. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you for viewing. The link to my slides are under the video.